this one for this series. Yeah. This is a must. Yeah. This is the most requested player. It was kind of weird on the ears. Twins MVP. and the Reds. Yeah. I can't exactly. believe we got him here. Like, I figured yeah. he'd be lined up, like, yeah. talking to so many people. Right, right now? He, no, he I didn't want to get thing, through all, all the interviews just now. <laughs> I love and then that finally, too. Curb, lastly, yeah. ends Curbs. up with us on, on FT. It's Kyle Farmer from the Minnesota Twins, formerly of the Cincinnati Reds. Yeah. It is the Kyle Farmer series <laughs> coming up yeah. right here. So, how you doing, just man? Just waiting for the lefties to come in. That's all I'm, <laughs> That's all I'm waiting on. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You're doing you, great. Uh, Thanks for having me. You excited to be back here? Yeah, it's cool. I love, you know, great ballpark and cool city. So, I'm, I'm happy to be back. A lot of my buddies are still over there, so it'll be cool to see. Do you them. circle this on, on the cow? Cause cause you had a lot of fun times here. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh Bado texted me all last night, seeing what I was doing, what <laughs> I was up to. I was at Soto last night having dinner. Oh, so nice. Fire. Why yeah, didn't really Bado good. come with you? Where is he? Is he is he with the they just don't tell him what he's doing in there right, right. now? Right. Yeah. Oh well they were traveling too yesterday. Yeah, they, hey, listen. After the game today, guess where I'm going? Wait, Soto? This Jeff dude. Ruby. Are you really? Oh, the yeah. downtown? Buddy, what's up, man? New one, baby. The new one? Have you been there yet? Yeah, Not, yeah. No, a lot of the guys what's went last night. How How's this dude? Tommy Watkins, man. This is the beauty. <laughs> he's kind of clueless at third, but he's <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Nothing, man. Go ahead. Say he loves you. <laughs> Tommy, boy. He's cool. No, it's cool. Hey, so you're getting the MVP tonight. Yeah. That that's good awesome, year, dude. It was yeah, fun. man. It was cool. cool. Get a little video yeah. trip. Congratulations, dude. That's I take my hat off. Yeah, it's just, just a little. Hey, hey he told know. me not to because I'm kind of balding a little bit. Oh, up top. No, oh now we got to see it. Yeah, I mean, oh, it's kind of getting good. thin a little bit. No, yeah, you're good. Just, just good. this. Would look up a little bit. Like you're looking up. There, nobody will see it. Yeah, I don't know if the fans get up there that But I know my wife. This year is kind of funny story. My wife to me on the bus. I didn't know it. They have like a wives group text. Uh oh. And so. Uh, I guess Royce shaves his head like before every game or something like that. And so my wife said, maybe Kyle should start doing that now so he can hit better. Oh, and I, wow. and then Royce came in and said, hey, your wife was kind of bashing you a little bit. Because <laughs> his girlfriend told him to tell me. And I was like, wow. You didn't know about the tech, the group text at all? No, I'm not in the wives. Thank you. I know you don't. You don't know, know, know. Did you're you address it or did you just let it go? Yeah, I called it out. Yeah. I called her out and she, she apologized. <laughs> <laughs> formal apology like yeah oh yeah. that's funny i heard um, press conference. your big uh um luke bryan fan yeah can you do an impression i heard you're really good at impressions it's all too. right it's i was better when i was like 28 now i'm 33 so it was uh, now all your voice your changes like mine yeah exactly no it's like i'll do the radio one uh, hey y'all you're listening to luke bryan on 94.9 the bull <laughs> wow, and then like good. i've only been to one of his concerts but uh he's one of the cheesiest guys out there but he okay. uh but he's he's got a good kermit the frog voice all right let's yeah do, can you do that what the cur- yeah well you- no i can just do his voice it sounds like yeah yeah, it's yeah, yeah. It's right. country comedy. girl shake it for me girl shake it <laughs> yeah for me, all right girl. i like it <laughs> have you ever like thought someone. about <laughs> I, I always feel like players should mess with the press more after games. Like, have you ever thought, like, yo, after this game today, I'm going full Luke Bryan for the pre- for the co- whoever comes over yeah. for the reporters Beautiful. for the press? I could probably do that. I could do that. I've never done it though. But the but, best was Kike Hernandez did the. Uh, I forgot who was uh, put your picture with us with the Dodgers, but he thought that he was Latin the entire time. Oh, and so he was. He his locker was right next to art. Like I was like Kike and the pitcher. And then me. And so after each game, uh, Kiko would bring the translator over there. <laughs> so he would spot talk Spanish. It That's really so fun. Well, you know, got Spanish. Bobby Nightingale Jr. here, right? Now you can do the Luke Bryant with him. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah. He would love that. <laughs> yes, he, he would love that. He would. All right. So, go ahead. So tell me about um, life in Minneapolis because you did Midwest, you know, last yeah. year. So was it a big change for you what was the like beginning of the year was it was, it was? There was snow on the ground yeah you, know, you land and snowing and uh the coolest thing was they have the, you know the seats are all heated there in the dugout what but, uh, oh, I know they, that night. Do they, yeah. are there moats like How about the away team i don't remember no, no. No. Oh, you ain't <laughs> that either. hell no that's baloney right there <laughs> well no i mean uh, my car got stolen in a diner that, oh, i have a house in a diner i got hit in the face then two days later my car got stolen Damn. And then it was a rough week, rough the first couple months for me in Minnesota, but it's better now. Where'd you get hit? Right here. Giolito threw one up and in, knocked my four wow. teeth back. I was out for like a month. Wow. I remember that. Knocked them back? Sh- I don't see Yeah, shit. so when I got hit, my tongue was stuck underneath the four bottom teeth. I couldn't lift mm. my tongue. I, so I was like talking like this and uh, dropped and then took me to the hospital and had surgery. Damn, dude. Uh, so then the car gets stolen. And car gets stolen. Sweet Bronco, too. Jeez. Well, that's why you got insurance, right? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, yeah, it was. 
damn dude that's crazy yeah so but I, I like minnesota a lot though it's great <laughs> it is cool well after that though you're like all right you yeah. can't get much worse for a week no been well, fishing on the lakes. i was just gonna ask fun. you if you fish up there yeah we were i was fishing for uh musky last week and those are the big fish and then They'd say it takes 10,000 casts before you catch one, and I believe them because I, I caught, I had a bite. We are fishing top water, and he ripped it, and all of a sudden this thing came up like this. It was wow. probably 49 inches to 50 inches, oh, oh my gosh. and uh, he, he let it go, and I couldn't get, get one back in. But I was out there for six hours and didn't catch one. We were casting. Wow. What is fun. A musky? Is that what it's called? Yeah, musky. Never heard of a musky. I'm, I'm not fish. a big fisher guy. Do you nothing, eat that? No, you don't eat it. No, okay. it's like a trophy fish. Nice. Yeah. 50 inch. That's it's insane, huge. man. It's, huge. it's, it's 50 huge. inches. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Uh, who are you going to talk to before the game on the other side? Like, were you tight with Jonathan India? Yeah, it was uh, me, India, Sinzel. We were all pretty close. We'd go out to dinner, go out together, have yep. fun because all of our girlfriends and wives, you know, got along as well. So it was easy just to hang out with everybody. And um, definitely going to try and say hey to Vado. And um, yeah, India's probably Indian Sinzel, my guys. Yeah. Do you uh, miss catching at all? No. I always tell these young kids, I said, don't pick that spot, man, because if you're good at it, you'll never play anywhere else. That's right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So I, it's after catch, playing short, then catching, then going back to shortstop, yeah. catching is the hardest position, I think, in any sport. It it's, takes a special person to do it. My knee. I just think about your knees, man. I feel like yeah, Jake I mean, Taylor from uh, Major, yeah. League. Major League. That's right. <laughs> well, so are you the emergency catcher? I was more of a Rube Baker guy. Rube, oh, Rube. Yeah, I was a Rube oh, yeah. Baker guy. <laughs> <laughs> I had the magazines. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Of course. I think everybody did. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, I it, I think it was more the concussions for me. I think I had like three or four concussions Damn. catching. So got two. Over, I had two over here with the Reds. But you are, you are designated. Joey. Oh, we see your boy. Hey, we're busy. Did Tell you Joey hear what he just here. said? Did Bean you? burger. Yeah. What did he say? All right. He's got to work. work. He got, did you hear what working. he just said to Todd? What did you tell him about this? Oh, he goes, man. He goes. what a bean burger. Bean burger. Oh, he used to make these bean burgers. Everybody's having a regular burger the whole time. He has these bean burgers. And I I used to just make fun of him. I'm like, what the hell are you eating in there? It's all these like vegetables in there. And he made them one day. And I'm like, dude. I just don't ever put that thing near me That's again. So a bean burger? That's a bean burger. <laughs> Joey he's a said he would pick on breed. You know him. He's a different he, breed. He is. That's but he would pick a good on Canadian. Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> you should use that against him though today. But he, he told us, he was like, Todd would walk in and be like, Joey, what do you got? Yep. You got a bean burger again? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> like in front of everyone, like, you got another bean burger? That's, how, old are, how old are you now? I'm 21. <laughs> okay. I'm, 30, I'm 37. So do you think that you think when he hit 40, you think it was like, damn, I'm 40, and it's like, I can't believe I'm still playing? Yeah, I I think so. Yeah, I would say it's so. It's crazy. It's crazy. Because you think, because I remember having a conversation with the Reds Brass trying to get a deal. Mm -hmm. Like, when do you think you, you know, you're going to be out of your prime? And I honestly said 37. Oh, really? I did. I said, I, I said by the time I'm 36, 37, I'll be on the downslope. Wow. And I never got a chance to get there. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should have said 47. Maybe I would call That's it. That's probably what he said. Yeah. It was cool. I was in the Futures game here when you won the Home Run Derby here. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so I was on, I was on the field watching it. Oh, you saw it on the field? Yeah, it was cool. Oh, wow. Dude, that is so awesome. Yeah. That is cool, man. It was awesome that you played here and you won. It we talked about sweet. that oh, a bunch cool. today. That What a, what an amazing day. And that, you were on the field. Where? Like, where were I was over there on the third base side because that's where we were. We finished. And then I got to – I don't know. I don't know who I talked to, but I snuck around and, and kind of got, got yeah, to stay. Yeah, Cal Gill throwing absolute fuzz right now. This is what he does. Who? Colin Calgo, the first base coach, just throws absolute fuzz. This is why Joey Votto's one of the best hitters to ever played this game. He's got a guy throwing lefty on lefty, getting ready to go. You, you got a lefty on the mound today? No, no, Joe Ryan's on the mound. No, no? Joe Ryan. And he hides the ball, Sim too. And he hides it. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Similar heater, though. Yeah, exactly. You think Calgo, like, watched video of oh, Joe Ryan and was like, yeah. all right, same slot. All, all those guys do. So, kind Buck, let me ask So, from being a catcher and a shortstop, like, you should know what's coming every time you're at the plate, right? No. <laughs> not in today's world. No, oh my God. They got sweepers. That's they got why splitters. I can't. That's why I'm not playing anymore. We got Durant on a splitter at 100, so, I mean, you never know what's going to no. come. Jeez. So, is a sweeper any different than uh, what it used to be called a slurve? I think it's the same thing. Yeah. I think a slider now is more of a cutter, and a sweeper is more of a combo mm -hmm. of a curveball and a slider. But those slider cutters are like 94, 96. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's, it's, yeah. How do you hit? Like, you go up to the plate. I, I remember um, – 
Roy Holiday, mm-hmm. God bless him. I remember when he pitched, he had five or six pitches. You're like, dude, you got you to gotta go yeah. up there looking for one or two. And if you don't get it, you got to tip your cap. And that's what happened every time. I got like one hit off him. <laughs> yeah, because they, I'm looking for the cutter, sinker, change up, curveball. They ball. all come out of the same tunnel. And it's, it, yeah, it's here and then zoom, zoom, zoom. Yeah, it's it's getting pretty ridiculous now. But we, as times have changed, they've come out with more technology for hitters and stuff to figure yeah. out. Like we have a traject at our stadium that has a pitcher's motion. And then you can calculate wow. the spin rate the movement of the ball and it goes in the computer and that machine changes it and it like spits out the exact same stuff that they're throwing which is pretty cool and the machines now you can like a normal machine you can you can type it in and say like slider ball slider strike wow. and you don't see the machine moving so it's like you can train yourself to which tunnel you're going to tunnel in and which one to take wow so it's pretty cool is, awesome. some, is some of the information too much information sometimes yeah i mean when you get to like the the VAA and the expected and all that that stuff. It's just kind of what's VAA? Vertical. I, I don't even know, but I, it was on the sheet today, and his it said like his VAA is really good. Oh man, I bet your VAA that. was pretty good. I, yeah, yeah. I don't even know what that means. I don't like, either. I'm pretty good on that stuff. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. That's cool. funny. Appreciate it, man. Well, Kyle, it was great to have you. Yeah. On, thanks, man. guys. Thanks, congrats congrats on, on getting you. the MVP too. award. Uh, I appreciate today. it. No Thank speech, you. though, right? That's cool. Yeah. I hope not. That was my major in college, but hopefully not. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I hope they give you the mic. Nah, they probably if they give you the mic, it. you got to do he, it, Luke Bryan. I'll do it. Yeah. Yeah, but if he does it, he also is probably, they're probably worried he's going to go, like, let's go twins, baby. Let's go. Forget <laughs> about you guys. <laughs> it's about push. me. Yeah, it's over. Push. Yeah. Well, different leagues, though, so he can do that. <laughs> true, true. Right. Appreciate it, man. Good yeah, to see you. guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. I'm going to say Oh, good. We got a little, we got a little Vado BP. Give me something good right now here, Todd. Right, let's Father. see what he's got here. He is, he's going opposite field. That's all he does. Thank, Thank you, you. What he does in BP, everything opposite field. So when there is a mistake, he can easily go the regular way and hit one out. He's trying to hit the ball in the left center field gap, if not off the wall, and that's what he's always done ever since I've been around him. 